I hated chemistry in, in school, but biology, at least I could equate it to my own body, uh, in kind of what was going on. So when I came back to farm, the soil health journey really, you know, it was fascinating. As I look back, how fast we ended up talking about biology. I went to a something somewhere they were talking about different fertilizers and everything else. And they were talking about why you needed zinc or you needed magnesium or copper or whatever else. But they said, well, you know, you got to be careful because if you mix too much of this, well, here's this molder's chart. Here, this is how simple this is. Look at this. If you, if you try this, we well, just got to watch that it's going to antagonize these four things over here. And so you need a little bit of that, but of course that pisses these four elements off. And, and I thought, I'll never get this. There's no way. No way they, I mean, no wonder they can't, they continue to sell me crap because all they got to do is snow me with the molder's chart. You know, I, I got to sell you zinc because of course, you know, you're not going to get your copper without your zinc or however all that works. But when you begin to talk about, if you just get out of the way of the soil biology and it'll do it for me, I'm in. I get, get something, somebody's going to do something for me and I don't have to write a check for it. Again, to plagiarize a, a Gabe Brown, he, he would rather sign the back of the check than the front of the check. And that, you know, we mentioned or we talked about earlier, this is very marginal farm ground at best. You know, when my dad got here, I'm sure he was, I think he paid $15,000 for his first combine. If I was to get the combine I wanted today, it's a million dollars. And yet I'm not growing a whole lot more bushels of wheat uh, than he did. The average price of, of wheat, actually, interestingly enough, today is barely 50% or 50 cents larger or higher than the 40 year average. Hope that the numbers don't pan, they don't pan out anymore. And so biology just seems, I guess, not to simplify it too much, just simpler than this whole chemical stuff that the industrial salesmen, I, I would tell you, there's no way they understand that. And I think that's what's gotten us in trouble. The more we put nitrogen, let's just go simply with more nitrogen, they have the list of things that it's messing up. That then requires me, I've got a weed problem then, my, my biggest weed around here is a Russian thistle. What, what does a Russian thistle love? High nitrates. What do I do? I keep continuing to put nitrates in the soil and all I'm doing is, is helping the Russian thistle out which of course makes the Roundup salesman happy because I got to have more Roundup to control the Russian thistle. And so people that are around soil health know this vicious cycle. I just think there's a, a positive cycle out of this and it's, it's biology. It's not, it's not chemistry.